Hello everyone, this is Josef Not here, and today I'm back with my with one of my community videos. Last time we talked about hardware specifications, and the next step, in my opinion, is the operating system. And this is what I would like to talk to you about today, shortly which operating systems I use and I'd like to ask you to engage in a um, conversation in the comment section below which systems you prefer and why do you use that. So as you m all might know there are a couple of operating systems which you can use to run OpenFoam. The standard operating system is of course still Linux and you have a lot of flavors of Linux to use. For example, the standard um, operating system for open form simulations is as of now Ubuntu, but you can also run uh, open form, for example, in CentOS or OpenSUSE and also a lot of other um, versions of Linux. <coughs> Then uh, there is the possibility to run open from under Windows, under Windows 7, 8 and of course Windows 10. And also there is the possibility to run it under Mac. At this point I do not want to talk about the different versions of open form and which one you can run under which operating system because this is a separate video and th this is something very interesting and I'm looking forward to that video also to hear your opinion on that but let's concentrate on the operating systems themselves. So these are the three common operating systems there are also other of course other operating systems but Let's concentrate on these. So from my side, what do I use? And you might already know that because you've seen my videos. So usually what I do, I do use Windows 10. For example, my I do my videos, my last videos I, uh, I recorded all on Windows 10. And I do have a bash, the bash on Ubuntu on Windows, on my Windows 10 machines, on my private laptop, on my laptop at the university. I ran them and uh, uh, Windows 10 with the bash is perfect, for example, for tutorials, when I prepare a tutorial for you guys, for example, or to run small cases and for or also to set up bigger cases to mesh the cases to pre-process cases to run set fields or topo set or any kinds of pre-processing utility in open form and also after the simulation i can evaluate the simulations in windows 10 also in linux but also in windows 10 so for that it's perfect but what i do not do i do not run the big cases on windows 10 for specific for very specific reasons because windows 10 needs a lot of ram in the background running and for that for the big cases i use linux and spe especially server editions and this is why i put here server in a bolder font because with a server edition you do not have additional processes running automatically in the background or not as many as you would have on a desktop version of Ubuntu, for example. So I run the, I set up the cases in Windows 10 or before Windows 10, I used to uh, set them up in, in a desktop version of Ubuntu. And then I copy them to the server and then I run them. For example, my personal limit is where uh, with cells between 50,000 uh, and 100,000 cells and everything that is bigger than the, uh, these mesh meshes I usually run on a server on a server with a server edition of Ubuntu or CentOS or maybe the cells are a bit difficult as a limit um, my personal limit is uh, if a, a simulation runs within 15 minutes or maybe 30 minutes that's okay F and I run it on Windows 10 uh, everything that takes longer I run on a server edition so everything between a cough that runs in a coffee break or lunch break 
uh, run can run on a laptop with Windows. Everything else is being copied to a server with very good uh, hardware specifications, and then I run the simulations there. So this is my practice. This is what I find very useful as of today, in the beginning of 2018. This might change. And with that, I would like to ask you guys, which versions of op operating systems do you prefer? Windows, Linux, Mac OS, something else or a combination of those? Do you use a dual boot machine where you have multiple operating systems on your machine? Or do you use a virtual machine or Docker, for example? And why do you prefer this setup? Please comment below and tell me, tell us your opinion and why do you prefer that. As you know, you can also engage me on social media, on YouTube. You can uh, please like, comment and share my videos. And if you haven't done so, then please also subscribe so you get the notifications when I upload a video. Alternatively, you can also subscribe to the Uformers group by sending me a mail to jnmlujnmlu at gmail.com with the subject subscribe and I will add your email address to a gmail group. And uh, now and then I send out emails with useful tips and also with notifications if I upload videos if you do not want to subscribe in you on YouTube. Alternatively also you can follow me on Twitter or on LinkedIn where I also announce certain things, for example, when I upload a video to YouTube. So with that, I hope that you liked this video and that you will comment and uh, state your opinion. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.